Welcome back guys in this video we are going to solve another problem from hacker rank series it says sets HTML. so it's another topic from standard template library you must be aware about that sets are the part of C++ STL and they store unique elements so one of the important property of sets are that it stores unique elements here you can see how we create set of integers we just need to use set and then inside angular bracket we need to pass the type of inputs and then the name of the set to fetch the size of set we can make use of size function here you can see how we insert element in set we can make use of insert function and then pass the number inside parenthesis to insert it into set to erase an element from set we can make use of erase function and then pass the value we want to raise this is a very easy way to remove elements from set and when we want to find an element in set we can make use of iterator what iterator does it goes through the set and find whether a value is present or not so iterator become useful for many standard template library functions and classes so whenever you want to iterate a vector or set or any other standard template library class you can make use of iterators and this is how we define iterator see here is the set iterator we want to define that's why we have written set integer and after that we need to use these colons and then the iterator keyword and then we need to make the object of iterator we may or may not initialize it right there only but here we are making use of set name and using find function to fetch the value which will return the iterator and then we need to check whether the iterator return has the number present or not we are looking for here you can see the example set integer tree and then we create an iterator idr and find 100 in this if 100 is not present then iterator will just end so it returns s dot end so we can make use of this to check whether something is present in or not so this is how twitter works and it become useful for any type of standard template library classes so let's see what the input is so here you will be provided input in this format and it can be 1x 2x and 3x and here x's are the number which can range from 1 to 10 to power 9 so here 1 indicates that you want to add the element x when it says 2 2 indicates that you want to delete the element x and when it will say 3 and it will pass the x or number then you have to check whether that number is present in the updated set that is there may be some operations of addition and deletion going on before but after performing all those op operations if we fetch this 3 then we need to check whether x is present in the set or not and if it is present in the set we need to print yes and if it's not present we, we have to print no so this so this is all we need to do so our input consists of q which is the number of queries then we may use while to run through all the queries and then we will be provided x and y here y will be the type of query and x is the integer so this type of query can range from 1 to 3 our output should be yes or no so here we just need to print output on console only when we are given y as 3 because 3 indicates that we need to check the element in the set and we have to print yes and no based on the fact that element is present or not in the set so let's do it for input we just need to take q which is a number of queries then we need to run a while loop and use two variables to fetch them and then we just need to make use of find function from set to check whether it's present or not so let me create a variable q for query i will take it as an input so now i need to run while loop to take the queries inside while loop we will take two input which is y and x where y will be the type of query i hope you remember that y consists of one two or three based on which we will decide our operation that we will perform on x which will be the input or an integer so now we need to check the value of y if y equals to one we need to add the element x in the set else if y equals to 2 we need to remove the element x from the set if it is present okay so we need to check that if it's present or not for removing the element then else if y equals to 3 we need to check 
whether x is present in the set or not if it is present we need to print yes and if it's not present we need to print no now you can also write else to check whether y is out of bound or not but we believe it's one of the three values so let me just ignore that so now let's write the code inside this block so if y equals to one that means we need to insert element x in the set for that we need to create a set we need to create a set so let me create a set outside while loop let me name it integer as now we have an empty set now if y equals to 1 we need to add element x in set s for that we can make use of s dot insert and pass the element we want to insert that's so easy now if we want to delete now if y equals to 2 we have to delete the element x if it's present so we need to check whether an element is present or not for that it's better we use erase operation that will if it's present it will delete it else we can make use of find to check whether some element is present or not and then remove if it's present so we can make use of erase directly to remove the element if it's present now if y equals to 3 then that means we need to check whether uh, whether element x is present in the set or not for that we need to create an iterator of set let me create an iterator of set integer and i'm creating an iterator itr and here we need to pass the iterator of passed by s dot find and inside we need to pass x so s dot find will pass the iterator to this itr and now we need to check if this iterator that is itr equals to s dot end that means we need to check whether the iterator has reached the end of the set or not if it has reached the end of the set that means that value x is not present in the set if it hasn't reached the end of the set that means that it has got that value in the set and has iteration if it has reached the end of the set then we have to print no which means that value is not present then we can move to the next line by writing a skip sequence else we need to print yes that it is present in the set and then we can write a skip sequence to go to the next line and guys here we have to take this input y and x i forgot to take it there so now let me run this code here we got congratulations so guys let me submit this yeah we got it so guys this was all for this video see you in next video till then keep watching keep learning